Hey, hey, guys. So here's a blast from the past. Sorry, I phased out there for a moment. <laughs> Learn what this man does and has done since he has been on TikTok. And before that, this is the real Kevin Wright. I read this, this, I posted this a few times. Because you're in chronic pain, it doesn't give you the right to be a negative person. Well, it kind of would. Because if, if you're suffering through chronic pain constantly every day, then of course it gives a person the right to be negative. Because they're going to be negative. I mean, what do you expect somebody to be that suffers through chronic pain? To be happy and jolly. To be dancing around like a like a loon. You can be a positive, but if you want to be negative, then you deserve your pain. So if you didn't hear that properly there, he says if you're gonna be a negative person, then you deserve the pain. I can't remember who he aimed this at. It was a woman he went live with who stated she was in chronic oh somebody in his comments stated that she was she suffered with chronic pain. And that's who he's talking about. It was in the comments. And the more negative you be, that pain will eat you up and get worse. And why are you smirking at that for? So obviously that's him trying to deterrent. You know, trying to deter people from being negative in his life. From trolling him, essentially. But it's just, he went about it the completely wrong way. In the outcome wasn't what he wanted. But if you be positive, your pain won't be as bad. Really? And how's that work? That's not on a list of cures for chronic pain or chronic illness. Be a positive person. You won't suffer with pain as much. Hmm. It's not what the doctor says. Do you want to be negative? Mum suffers from pain, yeah, but she don't deserve it. Negative person. So if your mother suffers from chronic pain, then is, does that mean she's a negative person? Because by your logic, that would be what is what you're saying. Idiot. You obviously are, so you deserve it. You deserve your pain. Stupid Neil Varnish on it as well. Like seriously, this wasn't even this isn't even the worst thing he said to people. It's just it just boggles the mind that he's still got gifters. After everything he's done, like he has sunk lower than I would ever think a person could sink. And he's still got gifters. He's got sixty two thousand followers. And it just boggles my mind. Well, obviously, yeah, most of them are bots, but the real people that are following him, it just boggles my mind. What a disgusting creep. Anyway, I thought I would reshare. I'll catch you in the next one.